So this is the network. For example, this is the network having. So for example, this network air resistance, air resistance, something like this. Sir, here we have two ohms, one ohm, one ohm, two ohms, three ohms, something like this. What is the equivalent resistance for this network? R equivalent for this network. First, hold the video, do this problem yourself. What is the R equivalent for this network? Having two ohms, one ohm, one ohm, two ohms, three ohms, already you know series and parallel combination. Try to do this problem. <coughs> Just hold the video, do it. Okay? Are you ready this problem? Any answer you got? If you are not get the answer, try to do. Again, I am telling you. Are you clear? You got some answer. You check your answer. First of all, what is the R equivalent? Whenever this question is given, you have to know that you should have a question for me. Sir, where we have to calculate the R equivalent, sir? You should specify the terminals. Without specifying the terminals, where we can calculate the equivalent resistance? Generally, most of the cases, when you are doing a something, voltage source is here, so that this one is in series parallel, such an approach you are going. But here, this is not given. Suppose we want to calculate the equivalent resistance. Once a question is given, we want to find the equivalent resistance. Where we have to calculate that is an important point. For example, I want to calculate the equivalent resistance between these terminals. What terminals? Between these AB terminals. For example, sir, whenever if the resistance is to be calculated between these AB terminals, we have to look from these terminals. Sir, what is the looking from these terminals? It means that we have to select our current directions from this point. So current is going like this. Afterwards, current is divided into two paths like this. And going this point, what happened to your current? Whether it is divided or not. You fellows, the current will not divide. Because the entire current will pass us here. Why this entire current? Because it is a open circuit. Whenever open circuit means current passes through this one is zero, no current will pass. So current will pass us here. So whether I can open the terminal here or open the terminal here, it will not show the much difference. So we can eliminate like this. Then you got an idea. Current, this current and this current are is in series. Same current is flowing series. What is the effective resistance it comes like? I don't want to tell. One plus one, it is a two ohms. Once these two currents are dividing, 2 ohms in parallel with 2 ohms, 2 into 2 by 2 plus 2, that becomes like a 1 ohm. 1 ohm in series with 3 ohms, 1 plus 3, that is equal to 4 ohms. R equivalent when you are looking from this, it becomes like a 4 ohms. Sir, for the same circuit, remove all the things, whatever I written here, just you remove all the things. You don't want to go for further and further. Same network. For the same network, instead of these AB terminals, if you want to calculate the resistance between these terminals, if the terminals are given here, how can you calculate? Suppose AB is here. How can you calculate? Sir, how can you calculate if you want to calculate the resistance across this one? Here, the current is driving from this point driving from this point and choose the current direction. Current is flowing like this. Current is like this. Current is like this. What is the current pass through this one? Zero. Hence open. The same current will flow here. This is, you can remove. Three ohms in parallel with one ohm. Because same current is flowing. If you want to simplify, you can simplify like this. Because source is driving from this. Simplification is like this. When source is like this, simplification you made like this. That is the difference. Anyhow, how these two are? 2 and 1 is in series. 3 ohms in parallel with 1. 3 into 1 by 3 plus 1. It is 4 ohms. That is 3 by 4 plus 2. 
plus 2, 3 plus 8 by 4, it becomes 11 by 4 ohms. Sir, when it is 11 by 4 ohms, sir, this is the terminal, it becomes 11 by 4 ohms. Hello? This itself is not sufficient. This itself is not sufficient. Sometimes what I will ask is, this network, I used to calculate the resistance across these terminals. I can show in red ink, red marker, you can get more easily. If the terminals are like this, instead of AB here. I told you two procedures, from this side you calculated, from this we calculated. Now my question is, what is the equivalent resistance between these terminals, try to do yourself. Don't see every time video. When I raise it a question, try to solve that question, then you are going to gain the knowledge. Otherwise, following only blindly my classes, you cannot get it because you should create you. Your mind should be creative. That is more important. So, anyhow, whenever if the, you want to calculate the resistance between these AB terminals, how can you calculate? Sir, what is the current passes to this one? E0. You can open like this. What is the current passes to this one? E0. Because it is open like this. Then, so because your source is here, and this you can remove like this, this you can remove like this. Current is coming, going like this. These two branches are is in parallel, but this 1 ohm and 2 ohms are is in series. 1 ohm and 2 ohms are is in series. What that becomes like? 3 ohms. This becomes like a 3 ohms in parallel with 1 ohm. 3 into 1 by 3 plus 1, that becomes 3 by 4 ohms. Sir, here how much you got? If you are looking from this terminal, you got 4 ohms. When you are looking from this terminal, you got 11 by 4 ohms. If you are looking from this terminal, you got 3 by 4 ohms. Finally, if you are looking from these terminals, what is the resistance between this A and B? Here students, at least this you try to solve. You can remove this. Now this is the entire problem. Whatever previously given, you can attach all the lines here. You need not worry. Whatever it, all these things you can remove simply A and B. Calculate the what is the resistance between A B terminals. Are you got answer? Try to do yourself only. I don't explain. What answer you got? Whenever if you want to calculate the resistance between these terminals, the R equivalent is 0 ohms. Sir, why R equivalent is 0 ohms? Because these terminals are shorted, whatever the network is there, these are all shorted. These are all shorted, short circuited, 0 ohms in parallel with anything, it becomes like a 0, 0 into something by 0 plus something, it becomes like a 0 ohms. Are you clear? This is the procedure how to calculate the equivalent resistance. Sir, not only in the Thevenian sign, whenever if the problem is given, if you want to calculate the equivalent resistance, first we have to see where the source looking from the terminal. Take the current direction. And simplification you try to make from the opposite side. Don't see that when you are calculating how these two are in series. When you are looking from this terminal, simplify network from this end to this end. That gives you a perfect answer. Instead of that one, if you see these two are in series, again it is in parallel, you are going to get a confused. So once if you are looking here, this is removed because it is open circuit. How you take this resistance, how these two are is in series, that is in parallel, in series. Don't go, these two are is in series and parallel like that. This is the way to calculate the equivalent resistance for the given network.